Now, if you were watching the news, you'd get the weather at the end. But let me flip it around and start with the weather tonight. I've shown you before how the Bureau of Meteorology, the BOM, chose this summer to launch a new category of warning, this time a heat wave warning. A more significant feature is the ongoing heat wave. There's a severe heat wave warning for the west coast and northwest pastorals. You can see the heat wave conditions here. Heat wave conditions are building in the south from the west to the east. Yeah, in keeping with the whole global warming narrative, when the media and politicians get hysterical about heat records and ignore records on the downside, when the colours on the weather maps are getting brighter and scarier every year to make sure we think of hot days in summer as scary crimson days, we now have official heatwave warnings. They're even issued for days in the mid-30s in some circumstances, can you believe? Still, even with their low thresholds, the Bureau picked a slow summer to kick off their heatwave warning because so far it's been such a mild summer for most of the country. There hasn't been a decent heat wave. Another month to go, of course, and February could be a stinker. But look at what's happening over the next couple of days. If you're in South East Australia, there's an unseasonal summer cold snap on the way with widespread showers, cold winds and even snow. And for snow, we're expecting to see that cold air move over from Thursday night and into Friday morning. And you will see a couple of snow flurries settle above about 1,300 metres in New South Wales and Victoria and above about 1,100 metres in Tasmania. That's a pretty decent weather story, isn't it? Snow forecast in three Australian states in February. But have a look at last night's weather segment on ABC TV in Melbourne. Here's what's happened in Melbourne during January. And the thing that sticks out is the rain, or lack of it. Less than half of our normal falls. Last January, we had 80 millimetres. And even though the mean maximum temperature was close to normal and our hottest day was only 37.6, Monash University has crunched the numbers and this long-term trend here for the hottest day of January is on the rise. Since 1970, by all of four degrees. We'll get one of those 40 degree days again in summer one time. You've got to love it, don't you? Three summers without a 40 degree day and they've still got the yellow arrow heading straight up. Surely it should be flattening off a little. Uh, and later, something highly unusual got a cursory mention. Only patchy rain in the north, possible thunder in the southwest and on Gippsland coast, snow later down to 1,500 metres and a warning to sheep graziers in these districts. Yes, snow and an Arctic blast in February. You'd want to warn the graziers. They might want to get some animals to shelter. Didn't this bloke kind of bury the weather lead? Ah, the weather reports, eh? We still get lots of facts, sure, but often shaping which facts are highlighted and which are ignored, well, often these days that hinges on the narrative, the global warming and alarmist narrative. As Bob Dylan sang, you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows.